Remember when I was saying that my PC needed a bit of an upgrade? Well, that time has come. Gone is my Ryzen 9 3950X and here is my brand new Intel Core i7 13700K. And spoiler alert, it's fast. Like, I mean, very fast. But before I get into the video though, let me know. What CPU do you have in your PC currently? Let me know in the comments down below. This upgrade was helped out by Patria as they sent out their 32 gigabyte kit of DDR5 Viper Venom. So a big shout out to them and full transparency, I did not pay for this memory, Patriot sent it out to me. But the memory is clocked at 5600 megahertz and it's CL36. So it's not the fastest memory in the world, but it is very stable and when you've got a workstation you want stability over outright performance and this is what I went for with this PC. And the memory also has RGB as well and who doesn't like RGB? Here I've just set it to white as I think it fits the aesthetic of my PC pretty well but thanks to it being RGB you can control it with your motherboard's RGB software. So if you're looking for DDR5 or DDR4 memory for your PC check out Patriot Viper in the link in the description below. A little while ago I made this video about CPU bottlenecking and I did mention that my PC was suffering from a CPU bottleneck as my RTX 3080 wasn't being used fully in a lot of games. But to fix this I upgraded my platform to a Intel Core i7 13700K, 32GB of DDR5 memory from Patriot and I also upgraded the motherboard to a MSI Z790 MPG Force Wi-Fi. That, that was a bit of a mouthful and uh, it's almost like a monitor name actually. I went with the 13700K mainly because it's just an insane CPU. It has 8P cores, 8 E cores and it has 24 threads. It also has 30 megabytes of L3 cache as well which does help out a lot in gaming and productivity as well. And I specifically went with the K model and not the KF because I wanted the integrated graphics. Thanks to the iGPU on this thing, I do get better performance in Adobe Premiere Pro, thanks to Intel QuickSync. And this just isn't available on the KF SKUs. And this improves both my playback and rendering performance in Premiere Pro, resulting in a much nicer experience, and it also does save me a bit of time as well. 32 gigabytes of RAM is plenty enough for my workflow as my timelines at the minute aren't the most complex thing in the world, but an upgrade to 64 gigabytes is definitely on the cards for some time in the future. And thanks to me having two slots available, that upgrade is easily doable. And lastly, we land on the motherboard. This MSI Z690 MPG Force Wi-Fi is a pretty decent board. I bought it used and that's the main reason why I bought it because it was just a decent deal. It was just over 200 pounds with the postage as well. And it also had a BIOS which supported 13th gen CPUs as well, so I didn't have to do any of that BIOS flashback stuff. And it just saved me a bit of time and a bit of effort and saved me a bit of stress as well. The VRM easily handles the 13700K. It can get a tiny bit toasty, but that's because the 13700K is just an absolute furnace of a CPU. More on that later. And I think the aesthetic of it looks very good. It's a nice silver finish, and I think it looks a little bit different to my X570 Aorus Ultra. Also on this board, there are five M.2 slots, which is two more than what my old X570 board had as well. So that's nice, especially as I'm a video editor. I want a lot of drives and separate drives for like games and stuff like that as well. So yeah, that is a nice little bonus.
Now it's upgraded, it's time to gauge what the performance is like when compared to my older 3950X platform. Starting off with Cinebench R23 and the 3950X system got 1,239 for the single core performance and 22,554 for the multi-core. Single core here was the biggest issue as it was, let's say, not the best. It was around sort of Intel 7th gen, but the multi-core performance was pretty good thanks to its 32 processing threads. However, the 13700K absolutely obliterate the 3950X's single core performance getting 1,947, which is a 57% performance uplift just for single core performance. And this will result in much better system performance overall, especially in gaming and just even navigating windows. I noticed it was a lot snappier, a lot more responsive, and this is what you want from a PC. And even though it has eight less threads, the 13700K also had a better multi-core performance scoring 28,506. This will translate to better performance when the CPU is being 100% utilized in programs like Premiere Pro, especially when you're rendering as well. This will reduce rendering times, therefore saving me a bit of time. Now, I won't turn this into an outright gaming performance benchmark video, but I am working on that. So if you wanna see that, stay subscribed and turn on that notification bell too. With that being said though, I have been doing some performance testing and the results are very promising. With the 13700K, the performance uplift is around 31% in games, which is absolutely insane. That is like upgrading to a new tier of GPU. That is how insane this upgrade is. And it's not just the averages which have been vastly improved too. The 1% lows have also gone up and the games just feel a lot smoother because of this. And if you see the frame time sort of graph line in a Reva Tuna statistics server, you'll see that it is arrow straight in a lot of games now, thanks to the 13700K's much better single core performance. Not only gaming performance has been improved, but video editing performance has been greatly improved too. And this is great because this is what I mainly use my PC for. So yeah, that's good. I work with Sony 4K 8-bit 420 footage and it's not the hardest footage to edit with in terms of computing cost, but it's certainly not the easiest to edit either. But when I'm applying effects and LUTs and stuff like that, it did slow down the 3950X, but with the 13700K, however, the performance is flawless throughout. I don't even drop any frames on the timeline with playback, playing back at full res. And this is mainly thanks to its vastly superior single core performance. And it's also down to the iGPU with Intel QuickSync running as well, because that does do a lot of decoding and it certainly pulls its weight. And this is why I desperately wanted to move back to Intel because of the much better editing performance and experience with them. Nothing against AMD, they make great CPUs, don't get me wrong, especially great value CPUs. But for Premiere Pro, Intel's kind of where it's at. So I can edit faster, get better gaming performance, and I can navigate through Windows much better as well. But there is more that I could do to improve this setup. And that's mainly down to the temps of the 13700K, because let me tell you now, this thing is an absolute furnace of a CPU. That's because even though I've got a Corsair H150i Pro XT with the LGA 1700 retrofit kit, so it's basically everything's there like it should be, the 13700K is still getting to 100 degrees C under load. That's enough to boil water. And this tells me something definitely isn't right because under an all core load with a 360 mil AIO, the temperature should not be reaching 100, even with an undervolt as well. And this ties me back into the upgrades because the LGA 1700 socket is very poorly designed and it does bend CPUs, which can reduce cooling performance. I might invest in thermal right contact frame. It costs around nine pounds, which isn't really a lot. It's a price that you shouldn't have to pay because Intel should have engineered the socket properly. But yeah, I digress. So that's a content piece I am looking forward to because I will get around to that eventually at some point. I don't really have a time frame right now. But if you want to see that, stay subscribed and turn on that notification bell. Overall then, I'm very happy with how my system is performing now. I no longer have a CPU bottleneck and I have a GPU bottleneck in every single game. And this is a good thing. 
And so I'm getting the full performance, which I paid for, for my RTX 3080. And I'm also getting the full performance of the 13700K in Premiere Pro as well. And it's not just the performance in Premiere Pro, it's just the quality of life with it as well. Like everything just loads a lot faster, like games load faster, Windows loads faster, and even in Lightroom and Photoshop as well, them a lot snappier. And the experience overall is just a damn sight better. It does obviously have a few minor issues at the minute, one of them being the absolute ridiculous temperatures on the CPU. But this is something that I can get around to fixing when I can be bothered to fix it, which uh, I kind of can't be at the minute, so yeah. So yeah, that leaves me at the end of the video. If you like this one, stay subscribed, and especially stay subscribed because I am working on a lot more testing with this PC. I have been doing a lot of tests over the weekend. So if you want to see them content pieces, stay subscribed, turn on that notification bell, and leave this video a like as well. So with that being said, yeah, I'm going to leave the video here. So if you like this one, like it, stay subscribed for more tech content, and I'll catch you in the next one.